All right, Whoopi Goldberg, this is so cool. I know. Okay, so I'm a lesbian. Let's get it out of the way. Okay, now you okay? You gonna work it out? Yeah. That's what she meant by out and about. You were wondering. I know you were. Leave me alone. Okay. O.J. Simpson trial's over. I'm very happy, very excited. I'm tired. I cannot believe how much I hated the whole process. I feel bad for one person, though, my girlfriend, because now she has nothing to do. She was watching the trial. Okay, every single second she was taping it. She was reading the articles. She was reading the books. She was, you know, she went to Chicago to look for the night. She was definitely, not me, though, not me. Right from the start, I'm like, you know, I don't know. You know, it's, I just had that, like, bitter New Yorker kind of thought. You know, some retired football player had to attack his wife. Why couldn't it have been Frank Gifford? <laughs> in the morning, in the evening. <laughs> God, she's perky. She makes me crazy. I can't stand it. And people will get mad at me. They will. They'll be like, Suzanne, stop that. Don't make fun of her. I love her. I have all her albums. Come on, what'd she ever do? What did she ever do? She was like some runner-up for Miss America. Now she's famous, you know? All right, I have a little tiny confession. I was, uh, I was in one of those pageant prelims. I was fourth runner-up for Miss Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Thank you, thank you. I know. I know, there's no way I was going to win, though, right? Big dyke, I'm going to win. I don't think so, you know? All those girls are out there walking their... I'm like... <laughs> no way I was going to win. No, but I did get Miss Congeniality. Oh, Suzanne, you're such a joy to have in the dressing room. Can you zip this up? <laughs> I was young. I was 20. Give me a break. Not that I would ever go on stage in a bathing suit now. Are you kidding me? I realized this summer I really need to work out. Do you work out? Working out. <sighs> that bite. The worst part is, you know, when you're 20, you can work out for four hours and leap home. I had a great workout. But you're 34. You work out for 20 minutes. You can't get the key in the door. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, let me in. I, I, I can't get it. But I realized my body had changed a lot, you know what I mean? I noticed it when my breasts started to become part of my waist measurements. They're going down, you know. And they say, if you can put a pencil underneath your breath and it stays, you're sagging. Shit. I could put, like, a pencil box. <laughs> Paper, eraser, stapler, fax machine. I can, like, shoplift at Office Depot now. I'm like, they'll never see. That's how I got my computer. My $2,500 Jeopardy game. Thank you. Okay. I thought what would help for my breast, though, so I tried the Wonder Bra. You know what I mean? Have you tried the Wonder Bra? Oh, look, I'm looking at the men, because I'm used to being with gay audiences. Oh, nothing. And, um, and they yell right out, yes, girl, we have tried it. It's not. Anyway, so, so I get this Wonder Bra, right? I'm in the dressing room. I have it on. I'm thinking, well, that's not too bad. That's kind of how they used to look. I lift up my arms. I got two other breasts on the side. Looked like I was gonna nurse kittens. <laughs> Don't picture that. My girlfriend, on the other hand, she has small breasts, you know, so she loves the Wonder Bra. She has those little small breasts so she can golf. And, um, gay joke. Okay. Um, so, but you know what? Here's the weird thing. Now, see, this is a really cool audience, and you guys are doing great, you know, but there are still people who are afraid of homosexuals. Afraid? What's that about? I mean, do they stand around in little groups and go, Oh, my God, Bill, don't go down there. That's a homosexual neighborhood. Oh, yeah. They'll do your hair. <laughs> Haven't you heard about all those drive-by gay perm jackins? <laughs> Get out. You look like hell. <laughs> all right, you can go. Shitty car. I don't understand why they're afraid of us. I think it's because they think we do weird things sexually. Crazy, wild, weird stuff, you know? Hey, everybody does weird stuff. Case in point, how many of you tried to have sex in the shower? Come on, by applause. Come on, how many of you tried it? Come on, I know you did. Right, okay, yeah. 
How many of you tore the towel racks right out of the wall? <laughs> Apparently, they're not handles. Just for the towels. I know this because it happened to me. I did try something weird a couple, couple of weeks ago. My girlfriend says to me, you know, I think it would be really cool. I think it would be really cool if we tied you up. So I'm like, okay. So here's my impression of the night I got tied up. I'm thirsty. <laughs> my nose itches. Get the cat off the bed. Get the cat off the bed. <laughs> Honey, where are you going? Yeah, it turns out she didn't tie me up for sex. She just wanted some time to herself. <laughs> she went downstairs, watching the trial. You know, a lot of today's homeless are um, actually teenagers, and a large portion of those teenagers are gay kids who actually leave their homes or are pushed out because they're gay. You can do so much to eliminate homeless without lifting a finger by keeping your gay kids at home, loving them, and accepting them for who they are. It's a big world. Thank you. Make room for everybody. Thank you.